This unit is designed as a manual hydraulic breaker wherever there is no electricity or power available. It's suitable in that cases. It consists out of the framework, the basic framework, with the lower and the upper jaws, with the rods, threaded rods and nuts, the hydraulic hand pump, with a 25 ton hydraulic jack. <coughs> to break a hammer on this breaker, step one is to place the hammer on the lower jaws with a flat of the top sub in line with a flat on the jaw with a clevis on the jack. Number two, you put the two upper jaws, they can be completely removed, put them on, tighten by hand. Then you put the spanner in place on the back end of the hammer, onto the clevis of the jack, <coughs> and turn the hammer sleeve anti-clockwise. So it's got a proper fit on the spanner there. Then you've got the total stroke of the jack you can use to loosen the back end. <clears throat> Very important is to grease the top parts where we lock with the nuts with the anti seize grease. And that we preferably do every time before we use the breaker because we want these to last as long as possible. We've made the spacer at the bottom and a longer rod. So if the rod gets damaged on top, you can just cut that part off, adjust the two nuts, extend your rod, and then you've got a new thread on top again. Once you've got everything in place, the spanner and the hammer sleeve is turned clockwise, you tighten the nuts properly, and I mean properly. Mark the tops of what we do. We normally just take a turkey pen and draw a line on the top up that it locks onto the hammer sleeve. <coughs> and we mark, make a little mark there on the upper jaw and on the hammer sleeve so you can see if there's any movement. If everything is in place, you just lock the relief valve on the hand pump. The hand pump is it put with a gauge. We've got that on a rubber pipe. Because on a 6 or 8 inch hammer, you sometimes get a chuck nut that's solidly locked onto the sleeve. Then you need to take, once you've pumped, the pressure you can check all the time, and it doesn't release. You need a shot with a 14 pound copper hammer and make sure it's a copper hammer and this rubber pipe absorbs that shock not to damage the gauge. Only thing you do is pump and on that mark there you can see if the top sub loosens. If it moves here it means the hammer is turning and these nuts are not tightened properly. On a 6 or 8 inch hammer, it's sometimes you need to just below the upper jaw on the hammer sleeve. Give it a little welding run so it can lock and secure against the upper jaw that prevents the hammer from turning. But this is basically what it is. Normally, the hammer breaks between 5 bar and 15 bar, but you can pump it up to 25. If it doesn't break on 25, as I say, then we use the hammer. Give it a hard shock there, 9 out of 10, you get the chuck nut loose or the back end loose. Very basic, 
very simple, very safe to use, actually maintenance free, except for your grease there. The oil level of the cylinder, there is a filler plug. If it's in position like this, you top the cylinder up until it's level with the filler plug there. That's basically, basically the maintenance involved. Very simple unit, very effective. Use it and enjoy it.